Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is a collaboration with some special DIY Ohio gals and we are going to be sharing some awesome thrift flips with you along with some Ohio fun facts. When you're done with my video, just go to the link in my description box and that will take you to the next friend in line and then you can just keep rotating until you finish up with all of these wonderful collabs that we're gonna be showing you today. So definitely stick around start for some fun DIY and thrifting ideas. Yes. So the first DIY that I'm going to get started on is this garden box that I found at the thrift store for $2.99. And I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum Milk Paint in Highland Blue. Now if you've ever used milk paint, it is more of a, it's very thin. So I did end up mixing some of the Dollar Tree, the cheap Dollar Tree acrylic paint that they have just to make it a little bit thicker and to kind of lighten up that blue a little bit. So I'm going to be using, you'll see the theme quite often in this video but I'm going to be using a lot of blues today and that is just to really kick off spring and summer because it is right around the corner and I'm really just I'm so ready for the warmer weather so you're gonna see these vibrant blues blues come to play a lot in this video but anyways I just wanted to go over that give that a nice coat which I did and I love how that turned out I got on my Cricut machine and I just printed out a stencil of this home sign and this is where this fun collab is going to come into place so the theme of this was Ohio not only are we a bunch of Ohio gals here but we are going to be using a thrifted item and turn it into something Ohio based and I'm very proud of where I come from in my home state so this was perfect for me to flip this garden box so I will be able to see it all the time um, and really appreciate my my state so and just a little fact about ohio and you may or may not have known this but the shawshank redemption was actually shot here at the ohio state reformatory in mansfield and even though i'm not really close to mansfield it's so cool that to know that was done in my home state that movie because it is you know it's a very well-known movie so really cool really cool fact to know about ohio but anyways, once I got my letters on there, I just kind of got dipped my ends of my brush to just go over any spillage that went outside of the stencil. And I absolutely love how this garden box came out. Just really, really proud of it. And I'm excited to kind of display all this stuff. But just um, if I use it inside, I'll probably use some of this fake greenery and if I use it outside I might actually just put some real flowers in it one of the plastic liners that way it doesn't ruin um, I believe whoever had it before actually did use it outside as a real garden box but I don't know we'll see I think it's too pretty to maybe get dirt in it so I might use it inside but nonetheless I think it's it's a cute little box to use Okay, so now for DIY number two, I picked up this, I don't even know what it is. I think it may have been a pedestal. Uh, I'm not sure, but I am going to be using it as a pedestal, but putting my own little twist on it. I really like the metal pieces, but it was really beaten up um, and the metal pieces were very uneven. So I just decided to remove them all together. Um, so I just painted the wood piece with the Waverly chalk paint and white, gave that a nice little coat so I can move on to the next step. So I have this Dollar Tree stencil and I'm just going to go over it with the chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. Um, just one of the squares that I thought would be really kind of boho kind of feeling on this, which is kind of the look that I was going for. I wanted it to be a little bit more boho um, and go with the black and white kind of theme because you can use that. It's very neutral. You know you can use it wherever so I am just going to do one little strip of this stencil just right up the middle and because I liked those metal bars that went up each side where the screw holes were um, I kind of wanted to mimic that with just some black again that chalkboard 
paint from the Dollar Tree and do two just very thin stripes down each side of it just to give it that appearance um, to make it a little bit more rustic and to tie in that black in the center of the, the board. Next I just have these larger knobs and we're going to use those as feet on our pedestal. I'm using that chalkboard paint again from Dollar Tree and using that for the legs because it is the majority white. I am going to be using the black just to tie in that from the top. So once those were all painted we're just going to get our glue gun and attach those to the bottom where the screw hole were well, screw holes were before that way it is nice and even there's no guessing of it of where those need to go and then I have a nice little kind of boho pedestal to display some really cute items. Now I think this pedestal could be really cool to use in the summertime because I think that stencil kind of gives off like summertime vibes, especially if you add some color to it. It also would be really cool going into winter using those black and whites, which I do a lot for winter time. But anyways, moving on to DIY number three, I picked up this little candle holder. It was originally from Hobby Lobby for $12.99 and I got it for $1.99. So I'm just going to remove the glass and the hardware off of here so I can repaint the backboard of this. And I just gave that a nice good coat of the Waverly chalk paint in white. and just to cover up that busy print. So we could put another busy print on there. So again, I'm using that Dollar Tree stencil and I'm bringing out that Rust-Oleum milk paint in the Highland Blue. And I'm just doing the top half of this as um, just a little bit of an accent, I guess you can say. So this was a super easy project. You can literally transform anything with paint. So definitely if you see things like this at the thrift store, just use your imagination and kind of think outside the box and this will go really good into my coastal cottage kind of feel that I'm redoing in our living or in our family room downstairs which you, that'll be coming up very soon but again you can use this to just put a little votive in it or some greenery it's really there's options are endless with things like this so I really love how this one came out just super simple but really kind of a nice statement and for our last DIY that we are going to tackle, I found this ladder and it's about four and a half feet tall. It's pretty, it's pretty large and I found it for $1.99. So I wanted to get rid of the 90s hearts on here. I'm just not a big fan of that in my style to each their own. Um, but I just wanted to cover that up and give it a more like coastal farmhouse kind of vibe. So I'm using my lath that I use on oh my goodness it's I should have stock in this stuff I use it for so many projects but I just wanted to cover up those hearts and then I'm going to use this rust-oleum in the coastal sage in the spray paint and give that just a nice good coat and that is how that turned out I put a nice little reef on there and that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to comment like and subscribe and definitely go to the link below so you can check out the next Ohio gal and I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now